In an era where discrimination loomed large, he faced the daunting notion that blacks don't get contracts to compete. Despite the glaring absence of recognition from the IFBB's Mr. Olympia title, his unwavering pursuit of excellence remained undeterred. When Robbie Robinson began his bodybuilding journey at Gold's Gym in Venice Beach back in 1975, he recalls encountering the discouraging belief that blacks don't get contracts to compete. Enduring harassment at competitions and grappling with the challenges of steroids and sickle cell anemia, Robinson faced formidable obstacles. Despite numerous victories, he never clinched the prestigious IFBB Mr. Olympia title. Following his vocal complaints about mistreatment, the IFBB suspended him, prompting him to seek fair competition overseas, away from the spectre of racism. Confronting mistreatment head-on, he dared to challenge the status quo, even at the cost of suspension. Venturing abroad for fairer opportunities, he carved a path devoid of racial bias. With triumphant returns to the US, he etched his name in history. Uh, in 1994, he made a triumphant return to the US, securing the inaugural Mr. Olympia Masters title for athletes over 50, a feat he would repeat thrice. At 75, his story continues to inspire, a beacon of strength and resilience against all odds. Robbie Robinson, born on May 24, 1946, stands as an icon in American bodybuilding history. From his early days, known as Robin Robinson, to his renowned titles of the Black Prince and Mr. Lifestyle, he carved a legacy that echoed through generations. His journey was marked by triumphs on the grandest stages, including victories in prestigious competitions like Mr. America, the FBB Mr. World, and the illustrious Mr. Universe. Beyond the stage, Robinson's charisma and dedication captured the spotlight, earning him roles in seminal films such as the groundbreaking documentary Pumping Iron.
When I was young and just getting into bodybuilding, I was told that to look like a bodybuilder, you must live like one. That is, bodybuilding is not just a sport, it is a lifestyle. Robbie remains a marvel. While time has left its mark, his muscles no longer possess the same youthful fullness and density they once did. However, the foundational muscular development remains evident and his muscularity and definition remain remarkable. In comparison to other champion bodybuilders from his era, Robbie's physique stands out significantly. I attended what could be described as a predominantly black high school in Tallahassee, Florida, so experiences of overt racism were relatively limited for me. It was a stark awakening for me when I encountered derogatory language upon moving to California in 75. Leaving the familiarity of my hometown made me realize the harsh realities awaiting me elsewhere. That realization shaped how I navigated through life from then on. For over 27 years, he sculpted his physique to perfection embodying the epitome of strength and grace. His story is not merely one of athletic prowess, but a testament to resilience and passion. Retiring from the competitive arena in 2001 at the age of 55, Robinson's impact reverberates far beyond the confines of bodybuilding, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their dreams with unwavering determination. if I could go in there and get myself in great shape that whatever competitors, whatever racism, discrimination was there, I thought my physique could take it down and it did. Make sure to hit that follow and subscribe button for Craven Motivation.